Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Archbishop Parkev Martirosian, on the issue of Armenians in Western Armenia, election campaign, said American. We appeal to the Armenian delegation in Washington to immediately stop the ongoing negotiations. National Assembly of the Republic of Artsakh. The Armenian side has four victims. The enemy used UAV in the direction of Armenian position. People of Artsakh are the determined to face challenges of Azerbaijan, Chairman of National Assembly of Artsakh. From August 3 to 6, the traditional Munzur festival will be held in Dersim. Archbishop Parkev Martirosian was born on March 20, 1954. He received his primary education at Sumgait High School. In 1966, the Martirosian family relocated to Yerevan. From 1966 to 1971, he studied at Yerevan's 132nd Special School with a focus on physics and mathematics. Following that, from 1971 to 1972, he attended the Faculty of Electrical Engineering at Yerevan Mark Polytechnic Institute. Continuing his education from 1972 to 1972, he studied at the Pedagogical Institute of Russian and Foreign Languages, named after Brusov. His graduation work on the topic of art and morality in Bulgakov's novel Master and Margarita received the gold medal at the All Union Competition. In August November 1976, he taught Russian language and literature at a school in the village of Yeregnut. In November 1976, he was conscripted into the Soviet Army. From 1978 to 1980, he worked as a leading specialist at the Ministry of Light Industry. In 1980, he enrolled in the Gevorkian Theological Seminary of the Mother See of Holy Ejmiadzin. In 1983, on the feast day of Stepanos Nahavaki, he was ordained as a diacon by His Eminence Archbishop Nerses Pozapalian. Archbishop Parkev Martirosian is the author of three works and numerous articles. He has been recognized with several awards, medals, and letters of thanks from the Republic of Armenia and the Nagorno Karabakh Republic for his productive activities. This include the title of Hero of Artsakh of the Enkar with the Voske Arzi Order, the Array Medal for Services contributed to the Motherland of the Second Degree, the Enkar Medal Vachagam Barepasht, the Enkar Order of the Grigor Lusavorich, the Array Prime Minister's Commemorative Medal, the Medal of Gratitude from the Minister of Defense of the Republic of Armenia, the Medal of Marshal Bagramian from the Minister of the Defense of the Republic of Armenia, the Medal of Andrani Kozanian from the Minister of Defense of the Republic of Armenia, and the Galegin Nezdeh Medal from the Array Minister of Defense. He serves as the Honorary President of the Graduate Union of the State Linguistic University after Bruce van der Schotak and Karate Federation of Armenia. In 2014, he was awarded the title of Honorary Doctor of the National Academy of Sciences. On January 21, 2022, Archbishop Parkev resigned as the Primate of the Arts Diocese to assume the position of Envoy for Special Assignments of Catholicos Garigin II. In Armenian culture, the tonir has held significant meaning throughout history, dating back to pagan times. It symbolized the worship of the sun, and while the use of tonir can be found in various cultures, the underground tonir is a distinctive feature of Armenian tradition. The tonir, located in an area called Tonratun, served as a sacred place and was primarily used for baking bread, particularly lavash. The tonir had to be kept clean, and it was strictly forbidden to use bad words or swear around it. Typically, the tonir was built in a crucial part of the house beneath the dome roof. Such structures were referred to as Hazarashen and their construction facilitated the easy escape of smoke from the tonir. Apart from bread, the tonir was also used for cooking dishes such as gata, rapama, harissa and others. It served as a gathering place for storytelling where tales and legends were shared. After the bread baking ceremony, when the tonir still retained its heat, family members would gather around it and dangle their feet. This practice known as kursi nestel was believed to have medicinal properties. Elders would tell stories to the younger generation during this time. In settlements where there was no church, the toner was considered a sacred place for conducting wedding ceremonies. The bride and groom would hold hands and whirl around the toner as part of the ritual. Following that, the bride would take a handful of ashes from her father's house toner and place them into the toner of her husband's house. This act symbolized her lifelong connection to her husband, hers. 
Sedan Meli Kian was born in 1946 in Eastern Armenia. She graduated from the biology department of Yerevan State University. Throughout her career, she has worked as a researcher, served as an assistant to a deputy, taught sociology and psychology at various universities, co-chaired an NGO, and held positions such as executive director and founding member of the Yedgir Tirani Party. In 2008, Sedan Meli Kian, along with RANA deputy Zaruhi Postanja, met with Armena Gabrahamian, the president of the Republic of Western Armenia. They learned that the Republican Party of Armenia, which is the successor of the state of Armenia recreated by Boros Nubar, had the passport of citizenship. As a result, they applied for and received citizenship of the Republic of Western Armenia. In 2018, Sedam Elikan decided to step away from her social and political activities in Eastern Armenia and participated in the elections for the National Assembly of Western Armenia. She became a deputy, later serving as the vice speaker of the National Assembly and eventually assuming the role of Prime Minister of Western Armenia in 2020. Sedam Elikian's primary focus is working with the citizens of Western Armenia and a video about her can be found on the YouTube channel of Western Armenia TV. The National Assembly of Artsakh issued a statement. The armed forces of Azerbaijan once again grossly violating the ceasefire regime in Nagorno-Karabakh adopted on November 9, 2020 from 1.30 a.m. on June 27 to 28 of this year opened fire from various types of weapons in the direction of the territory of the Artsakh Republic, as a result of which four of our compatriots were killed. It's another murder for Artsakh Republic citizens with the use of the artillery and drones in conditions of full blockade. It testifies to the fact that the military and political leadership of this republic, ignoring the appeals and decisions of the authoritative international organizations through genocidal actions concealed by false agendas of peace and dialogue, is trying to achieve its main goal, the final expulsion of Armenians from Artsakh, by using military, political and economic instruments. It is noteworthy and significant that this new incident of regular violations of the ceasefire regime by Baku, similar to the previous cases, was also recorded at a time when the next talks of the foreign ministers of Armenia and Baku on the matters of Armenian Baku peace settlement are taking place in Washington. With the mediation of the U.S. Secretary of State, this of course once again confirms and proves that in reality, the ongoing peace treaty talks are also nothing but an imitation of the formation of an atmosphere of lasting peace and stability in the region, allegedly in the context of international efforts. Deeply worried about the current dangerous reality, we appeal to the U.N. Security Council on behalf of the people of Artsakh to the leaders of the co-chair countries of the OSCO Minsk Group to take concrete practical steps apart from statements of sympathy, exhortations and advice, in particular to apply sanctions on Baku, curbing its aggressive ambitions. We are convinced that the working method of double standards makes Azerbaijan even more excited, making it rampant and uncontrollable. To stop the anti-human genocidal actions of Azerbaijan with the most severe measures within the scope of the peace mission of the Russian Federation. The delegation of Armenia in the Washington talks to immediately stop the started talks until the establishment of a full ceasefire on the line of contact with Artsakh and on the borders of Armenia and providing documentary guarantees to preserve it. Otherwise, the continuation of the talks will mean encouraging the aggressive behavior of the Azerbaijani side and allowing it at the international level, bowing before the memory of our four martyrs who sacrificed their lives for the motherland, we are ready to continue their sacred work. On June 28, from 1.30, Baku armed forces opened artillery fire in the direction of Martuni and Martagert using UAVs as well. There are four casualties from the Armenian side. The military of defense of Azerbaijan continuously spreading disinformation in previous days as if the units of the defense army violate the ceasefire, and in particular on June 27 by disseminating a false statement about the wounding of the Azerbaijan AF servicemen by the Armenian side fire created an informational basis for another provocation. The Minister of Defense of the Republic of Artsakh will make an additional statement, the Artsakh Republic Minister of Defense added. Artsakh Republic Defense Ministry realized the names of the Defense Army servicemen killed on 28 June as a result of another Azerbaijani provocation in the direction of Martagert and Martuni. The dead servicemen are Armo Abgaryan, Samvel Torosyan, Yervan Tadevosyan and Gagik Balayan. 
The government of Western Armenia keeps in the center of attention all the events taking place both in and outside Armenia. Paying special attention to any incident against Armenia will assess the situation and take appropriate steps. Incidents of June 28, 2023 is another provocation of the Turkish Azerbaijani tandem, which aims to prevent the interference of an international structure in domestic affairs. The tandem is overdue. It is time to integrate into new geopolitical processes and understand the phenomena of the real world. The Turkish-Azerbaijani tandem is moving with the old methods, not realizing that it is impossible to play with the indigenous people, such as the Armenian people and its part Artsakh. The moment of retribution has come. Justice will serve, no matter how heavy the price. Our government, represented by President of Western Armenia, Armena Abrahamian, and the whole Armenian people expresses its deepest condolence to the family of the soldier who died for the freedom and independence of the motherland, bowing its head before the grace, promising we will compensate for every drop of blood, continuing the sacred cause. Artur Tomaisian, Speaker of the National Assembly of the Republic of Artsakh, made a speech at the regular session of the Parliament. The people of Artsakh are determined to resist the challenges of the Baku authorities and to live in dignity in their homeland. Artsakh has never been and will never be part of Azerbaijan, and any discussion about it is unacceptable for us. It is our red line, which no one has the right to violate. The OSCO means co-chairs and the leaders of these countries must understand that the annexion of our country to Azerbaijan will lead to the depopulation and destruction of Artsakh. We cannot change the order of the world. Small Artsakh does not pose any danger, but the right of our people to live safely and fully is at risk, and it is unfortunate that all this happens with the tacit consent of the international community. I think the civilized world has all the leverage to apply appropriate sanctions against the Azerbaijani regime, because Azerbaijan not only disregards but also violates the decisions of the ECHR and the International Court of Justice. Of Masyan praised the PA's resolution to ensure France safe passes through the Berzor Road. The statements in the U.S. Congress on the rights and security of the people of Artsakh and the statement of the France Artsakh Friendship Circle instead of words, let's get down to business. The Munzur Festival Organizing Committee has announced that the 21st Munzur Munzur Culture and Nature Festival will take place from August 3 to 6 under the slogan We Protect Nature and Life Against Meaning. Oskan Takar, the president of the Federation of Tersim Association, stated that they are organizing the festival, which was initiated in the 1990s as a response to the issues and challenges in Dersim. He mentioned that this year's festival will focus on democracy, environment, nature, faith and culture, and will address raise various topics with proposed solutions. Takar mentioned that the festival will commence with an exhibition and folk dances, followed by discussions on Alevi beliefs, current political developments, events related to women, and talks on the theme of earthquakes. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Govern Sarti Surahakan Tiflis Kaha Kampatvagan Christgeresi Kesirakan Varastana Gosarnera Oh. 